Yes, thank you. The coronavirus front and center at today's Houston City Council meeting. Council members discussing if hospitals in our area will be ready if we were to see a spike in the number of cases. Channel 2's Brittany Jeffers picks up the story live for us. Brittany, good morning. Yeah, good morning. Certainly a lot to discuss today. That meeting started at 9 o'clock, but uh, council members spent more than an hour this morning asking Dr. David Purse with the health department questions about COVID-19. And we're talking everything from uh, current numbers uh, to the current status of the hospitals specifically. And as you had mentioned, uh, Dr. Purse addressed questions about the capacity of the hospitals and where they stand right now in comparison uh, to previous years. And so hospitals generally operate at greater, greater than 90% occupancy. Uh, even in the summer, during flu season, they bump up against 100%. And right now, I think that's uh, the reason I point that out is that the dramatic job the hospitals have done in creating capacity uh, in case we get hit with a, a bad wave. Now, Dr. Per said that right now hospitals are running to 50 to 70 percent occupancy uh, in contrast to that. Now at this point 11 people in Houston have died from the coronavirus. Today Dr. Purse provided more demographic information and a breakdown of the race and ethnicities of those who passed away. Theoretically, none of us have any immunity to this virus. Therefore, all of us, regardless of our ethnicity, should, should be at equal risk of having contracted the virus. <laughs> then the number that get diagnosed is dependent on who has access to getting a test, right? And so we, we, we know that there are social disparities in healthcare. And so that is going to play a factor in that, making that reporting. But more importantly, and I think more to your point, I'm, I'm making an assumption here, so correct me if I'm wrong, more to your point is that there's a disproportionate number of African Americans who seem to be suffering the worst consequences of the virus. And uh, that does, in fact, appear to be the case. And I suspect that from a, uh, I'm going to answer from a medical scientific standpoint, and I'm going to answer from a social standpoint. From a medical scientific standpoint, the risk factors that people of any ethnicity can have that put them at highest risk is hypertension and diabetes and heart disease. And the African American population, unfortunately, has a greater preponderance of that than other ethnicities. And then the other part is the, the social disparities that this country has struggled with for decades. And those are playing a part in it as well. So looking specifically at the breakdown uh, of the numbers, uh, 11 people have passed away. And according to Dr. Purse, that was comprised of seven African-Americans, two Latinos and two Caucasians. Now, something else that was brought up and reiterated uh, throughout the beginning of the meeting was the importance of staying home and social distancing. Reporting live near downtown Houston, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC Channel 2 News.